Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I wanted to do a Sephora haul, but then I was like, I want to use the makeup. So we just gonna do all of that. I had to re-up on some stuff because, you know, your girl just be out. Well, and honestly, I was not out of these things, but you know, when the sale is on, you just feel obligated to get the things that you already like, cause it's 20% off, so. That's what I did. So I went ahead and got some of the Shiseido cotton. My light, it's, it's not bright because it's only the ring light. As you can see, it's the ambiance for me, but it's right here in front of me. So y'all ain't gonna be able to see nothing that's white, but the Shiseido cotton is my favorite. It's the ones that's in those little squares, but I like it just cause it's so soft. I try to use them on special occasions, but then I end up using them like all the time, so. Guess I'm just bougie, who knows? <laughs> but I also got some other cotton pads too. I wanted some bigger ones. These are from the Sephora brand. It's organic cotton, that's all I can tell you, but I just wanted them because they're bigger. I wanted to go ahead and get the things out of the way that I purchased from Sephora that I won't be using. So that's why I'm kind of going through a few things just kind of quickly because I'm not gonna be using it. I also got this Bomb Bomb body scrub, which I need to be using this, but I'm also, I'm already using another scrub and I'm almost done with it. So after that, I'm gonna hit this up. I used to love their booty, what is it? They booty stuff, you know what I'm talking about, girl. The booty cream, I have that too. I have like two of those, the butt cream. I saw Jackie Ina talking about the scrub and I was like, girl, I want some of that. Mm. This smell good. So yeah, I went ahead and picked this up cause y'all know this be pricey too. So I mean, majority of the stuff that's from Sephora is kind of pricey if we're being honest. Speaking of Sephora, I did not make the Sephora squad thingy. That's okay. But I just wanted to update y'all on YouTube that I didn't make it. Their loss, whatever. I got one more thing to talk about before we get into the makeup. So I did want to go ahead and get a perfume because I don't do perfumes like that and they are kind of pricey. Okay, they are pricey. They're like a hundred and some dollars. So 20% off was right up my alley. I wanted to try out the replica by the fireplace. Um, so I went ahead and purchased it. This is what it looks like. I really like the packaging. I just think it's real simple. It's cute. It doesn't even have a lid, a top to it. You just, you know, just spray, but it's still so good. It gives me like an adult, but like warm, cozy, like sweet and warm. Scent. That's what this gives me. This scent actually reminds me of a scent that like one of my homeboys wear all the time and he be smelling good. And it's actually unisex, so I thought that was cool. I was like, do you use this? He was like, girl, no. But anywho, <laughs> went ahead and picked that up because I wanted to, you know, get some more for the collection. I don't really have that many. I probably have like five because I always stick to my, with my favorites but I want to venture out because I feel like my scent is actually changing a little bit as I get older now let's get into the makeup I'm gonna go ahead and go wipe off my lips because I want to show y'all this little lip treatment thing that I got okay so my lips are nice and free so I picked up the fresh sugar lip wonder drops because Jackie Anna was talking about them and I was like you know I got some crusty lips too I got them too girl so let me see what she's talking about. So basically you start off on clean lips, just put a drop on your lips and then you can put a moisturizer, I think. Dispense it, drop, massage it in over clean lips and lip contour area until it absorbs. It can be used daily. Just drop some on there and it's supposed to make your lips feel good. It's watery. Like it's not watery, but like it spreads really, it's watery. <laughs> it spreads really fast. I could tell it really absorbed really quickly. That's cool. Got a little in my mouth. Tastes like sugar. So, <laughs> just in case you cared. I mean, I don't notice the difference. I think you gotta use it a few times before you feel something. I don't know. It's a retexturizing, oh, and soothing gel. I was like, it ain't water. It feel like some little gel, girl. So cute. I think I'm gonna put this in my purse. Just keep that because my lips be getting so unruly because I told y'all, I don't know if I'm, I think I mentioned it in another video that when I'm nervous, I'll like bite this side of my lip. So it just always got a cut right there. So I'm glad I got those drops. So the next thing I want to use is my new Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. Now it comes in this little cute box like this. Y'all look at the packaging. 
So y'all know the other lip balm that I like to use from them is their lip sleeping mask. And this is like my third, second or third one. And I've hit, I'm, I'm out basically. Girl, I'm out, okay? <laughs> so I was like, let me try another one. I also have this one in this tube form. So now I was like, let me get the little pot and it comes with a little like spoon thingy that you just pull out to scoop the product. But it, it goes right back in here. How cute is that? After I put the little treatment on, I'm like, gotta moisturize, right? So this is what it looks like. It's just a little pot. I'ma just get a little bit of that out. Ooh, y'all, this smells so good. My lips feel amazing. This is a good little combo. I don't know if you, if you are having issues with your lips. This just might be it, friend, this little combo. I forgot to mention that I got this pimple paste as well. I mean, I'm not gonna be putting it on now because I don't have a active pimple, except for this one, but we're not gonna put this on now. I'll do this before bed, but it's just a little paste. And whenever you feel like there is a pimple or something coming and you wanna dry it out, you just knock it out like that and you're good to go. So I wanted to go ahead and try one of those out because I've never tried one of these out before. I've just seen other people do it and I was like, oh, that might be something I just need to keep on hand just in case. Because sometimes when I get a pimple, I just wanna pop that thing and get it over with. But that is not good because of course, you get dark spots and you don't want that. So glad I got that. Y'all, I just realized I have Two more items that I need to mention that are not makeup. I decided to get the Youth to the People masks. I got a Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. Uh, okay. And then I got this Resurfacing Energy Facial. I like this because it's an enzyme treatment and I've had a few through my facials. Y'all know I get facials sometimes, um, professionally done or whatever, but I do like how it feels when she put like an enzyme and it's like, Little, little Pac-Man just eating up the skin. I like that and I was like, let me try that little mask because they were pretty affordable. So I was like, let me just dibble and dabble in that a little bit. So I did pick up those as well. So I didn't get any new brow things because honestly y'all, I keep reverting back to this same Anastasia brow brush stuff. Girl, you can't even see the name of it. It's wore off. And I'm pretty sure I may need some more soon. I'm in the shade Ebony, but I have no idea what this is called. But I like it because my brows, I like I have brows. You don't have to do too much to my brows, like at all. But I like to just, you know, give them a nice brush. But like also adding some flavor, some more color. See how much of a difference that has made just with me just using the Anastasia, whatever this is, girl. That's why I don't be buying them any brown thing. I did not get any new brow sculpting concealers either. So I'm just gonna head in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Amand. So these are the only two concealers that I will ever use for my brows, the NARS and the MAC, what is this? Y'all know, the one that's in the pot, <laughs> this one. These are the only two. I will have links for everything that I'm using y'all below. But I'm gonna go in with the NARS today and just shape my brows. All right, and I'm also gonna put it on the lid. Okay, y'all, so this is the eye that we're going for. Okay, right here, right here. Okay, cool. So I wanted to go ahead and do that one off camera because I mean, you don't need to see it twice. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put concealer all over the lid because I mean, we need a good base. So I wanted to go with an old palette. I didn't buy any new eyeshadow, y'all, because I got too many palettes. Like, honestly, we need to use. I don't think I've ever even hit pan on an eyeshadow. Like, that's how much I don't do eyeshadow like that, but I'm trying to get into it. I'm gonna be using the Jackie Ina palette. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is Ginger. I went in with the Ginger in the crease. And then right on top of that, I'm gonna use edges. I've been trying to practice recently. So I realized that if you really wanna get a good look, the first thing you gotta do is make sure you put the color directly into wherever that crease is and just go back and forth. I think what I was doing wrong 
was I was trying to also blend while trying to apply my first color. And no, I feel like you have to use another brush to blend. It just works out so much better. So I'm gonna use another brush and just make sure I blend that out. Y'all see that? Like initially, I couldn't even see the color. I was like, is this even like showing up on my skin? But like, yes, it is. Then going in with another fluffy, but like kind of a little dense cause you're gonna be placing color. And I'm just gonna put it like right on top of the other color. right on top then I'm just gonna go in with that same fluffy brush that I used the first time to blend and just kind of blend that out okay cool so then I'm gonna go in with credit which is this darker shade right here so I'm just gonna go in with that and only go in like on the outer V and I am just using this brush to place the color. I've realized I need a brush to place and I need another separate brush to blend. Cause if you don't do that, it just don't come out blended as good, in my opinion. All right, then I'm gonna take another brush to blend that out. So now that that is nicely blended we're gonna still have to blend a little bit more but don't blend that anymore so then i'm gonna switch my palettes because there was not a light enough shade in that one for me i love this palette this is my urban decay born to run palette i love how it flips all the way out is what it looks like those colors are phenomenal but i'm gonna go in with the weekender which is a a light tannish color and I'm just gonna put this on my lid all right so now that I have the lid color added I'm just gonna go back in with the same brush to blend and blend the dark color into the lighter color I just added but I also wanna make sure it's even with the other side. So what I like to do is I like to flick it up so that like some fall this way to blend and some fall the other way, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just flick it, just flick it, you know, the flick of the wrist, sis, the flick of the wrist. So that's pretty much the eye. Okay, so then the liner. So I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Liner. I've already had this, but of course, all of this still can be purchased at your local Sephora or online, I mean, clearly. As you can see, it's giving good cuts, okay? The way that I like to do it when I actually get a, the perfect line is I like to follow my eye. So you see how my eye goes up and it goes down? You know, that's how eye is made, it's like, Okay, so what I like to do is when it goes up and, and then as you can see it starts to go down I like to draw the line so it appears like it continues out as you can see That's what I that's pretty pretty much did just made it continue out um, So I like to draw the line first that way so I'll go here and just draw a line out like that so I get a good guide then I'm gonna go from the bottom and kind of meet up but what you want to do is you want to flick it so that it say you know okay so as y'all can see that ain't really crispy so I'm gonna clean that up I'm practicing eyes how did I do how did I do friend hope I did okay oh so let's move on to mascara because I've already put some mascara on this eye um, I'm gonna be using the what is it Kosas 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 girl I don't know anyway uh, I have their mascara because I saw Casey Aaliyah talking about this mascara over and over and over and so I was like why not and I love it it's like an ombre red and pink i think that is so cute and the packaging it really has weight to it this is their the big clean mascara it seems to be 
a pretty good mascara. I love how big the wand is. Cause I have a lot of lashes, okay? And I don't wanna be doing this all day. So. I really like this mascara. I think it's nice. Y'all see my lashes? All right, so on to foundation. I purchased four foundations. I purchased the Sephora Best Skin Ever. I don't know who I saw talking about this, but it had such good reviews on it. Ooh, it has a little pump on it. How cool. It's a good travel size too. I'm digging it. The other foundation that I got is the Huda Beauty. Y'all know I love this foundation. I always mix in the foundation i have this one in the shade nutmeg but it's too dark for me so i always use this and i love how much red it has in it because sometimes i have more red undertone and sometimes i have more yellow undertone so i like to have a red foundation on hand so i went ahead and picked up another foundation from Huda beauty and i wanted my exact shade i got chocolate mousse which i don't know if it's my shade <laughs> but this is the color that it looks like so i mean even if it's not my shade, I feel like I just mix a little bit of this in and I can get what I need. So I'm actually glad that I have two of those on hand because I love the consistency of it. Now it does have a fragrance with this foundation. I know it may bother other people, but it doesn't bother me. So I'm just gonna keep this on hand. Now the foundation that I'm going to be using is the Fenty foundation, the new ones. These are the Ease Drops. I'm kind of obsessed. This one is in the shade 20. This one is good, but it's too light for me. So I went ahead and picked up 21. I haven't tried this color. I won't say that 20 is too light. It just, it could use a little bit of darkening. Okay, so this is the darker one, as you can see. Let's see the colors. So this is 20, this is 21. It looked like a huge jump, if you're asking me, but it may just be the packaging. So this is 21. Like I said, I haven't tried it. 21 is added. Ooh. Ooh, they're my shirt. Now this one is like one point. Hopefully, if it does not oxidize, this one gonna be it. Looks so good. Don't it look so hydrating? I'm digging this. Oh no, this is my shade for sure. I'm looking at like everything. Y'all need to try this one. If y'all don't have this foundation, I wore shade 20 in New Orleans, which I mean, y'all didn't see much of that footage. <laughs> Because <laughs> your girl, it rained on me. I was trying to see how well it covers up my little dark spot up there. It looks like it did pretty okay. It's like you don't need much and it covers a lot. And it doesn't feel heavy. See, this type of foundation gets you in trouble. You know, wipe your whole face off. I think I'm gonna go ahead and set this. So I do have a new powder, it's from Kosas, the same as my mascara. And this is their Cloud Set Baking Setting and Smoothing Powder. And I got it in the shade Silky, which is Sheer Tan Deep. I love the packaging. The packaging is, God, so good. This is what the powder looks like. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, get some product on that bad boy. You can tell it's very sheer-ish. Girl, do I even need concealer at this point? I feel good and look good. Concealer, I got a new one. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And it is in this shade 43. I feel like I could have went down. <laughs> Looks hella bright, don't it? I may have to mix in a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way, cause this is my normal concealer shade. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the bottom first. The Too Faced. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever. Yeah, it could have been a little bit darker. That's for sure. Friend, as soon as I was about to blend, my food got here. Oh my, 
Y'all see that rice, jerk chicken, got some potato salad over here. Y'all, I am so hungry. She's spicy. I like it. <laughs> mm, yum. Little mukbang. Let me check up on that potato salad. Mm. Mm. Potato salad could have been better. Had to go and put some hand sanitizer back on, girl. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So, now I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my beauty blender. Ooh. Mmm. Blended, honey. She looking nicely hot. She looks awake. <laughs> I love this for me. Now, I actually needed a little bit of brightness in that concealer because I feel like the Too Faced, it's just more everyday, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't gonna give you that, what you looking for in a photo shoot, you know? So, I'll just add a little bit of the HD and it really is given what needs to be given. It's some HD, though. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Powder. Make sure you always blow that off because you don't want it to be cakey under there. Tap, 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 tap. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Match Stick in the shade Espresso. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And a little bit here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take a dense brush and just kinda like blend it out and up. So go towards the mouth and just kinda Brush it up a little. What I like to do, I like to look at my face, y'all. And where you can see, you see how you see all of this with the contour and stuff? If you're looking straight, you can see where you want it darker. So maybe you don't want this to stand out. You just make it darker. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you, you get the look you want. You look straight in the mirror and you see what's doing what needs to be done. I'm also going to contour my nose. gonna take a blending brush and just blend 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 and I like to blend it right into my brow because it looks the best when you do that in my opinion I would like to add a little bit of liner I'm gonna add it to my top and bottom lashes just want to deepen it up you know Okay, so now I'm just gonna add mascara to the bottom lashes. Now, I was gonna add some lashes, but like, I don't feel like it. This mascara is so good. It just brought out these bottom lashes. Y'all see them? Oh, you see it. Oh, you see them. Mm, I know you do. Don't try to deny it. You cannot hide it. I was gonna put a blush on, but I'm not feeling it right now. So I have two more products that I got from Sephora. This is like a baby liner. I'm gonna pack this up in my carry-on bag. I got it from Kat Von D, but I also got this lip glaze. It had good reviews <laughs> and I love a good gloss, okay? It got like caution. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, look at this applicator. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, these lips look good, man. Everything done to these lips today, impressive. Oh, bronzer. I'm gonna try to use my Guerlain bronzer. Actually, I should have purchased another one of these. This is not my shade, because this is in the shade five, and it's just not dark enough. It's just gonna give me what's already being gave. But anyway, I'll use it to just set whatever's there. So I just treat this like a translucent powder only because it's the same freaking color as my skin tone. All right, y'all. So this is pretty much the look that I'm going for. Let me take my scarf off. Look at my edge. It didn't start doing crazy stuff. So I decided to just do a, you know, two little curlies on the side. I wanted to do them more to the back though, because you know, I want them behind my ears. 
I look cute. I don't know if this setting spray is at Sephora, but it is the One Hit Prime Set and Finish Dewy Finish Face Mist. It says item right here. I don't know. I like the packaging. I'm really just testing it out. Oh yeah, I like the mist too. That's why I really like it. I like how this sprays. Yeah, you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Tried out all of the stuff that I got and I'm actually really excited about it and I'm excited about getting more into eyeshadow. I feel like I did that. Like I wanted something natural. The placement and the blendation looks great, right? Am I, am I right? Did I do okay? I did okay? Okay. I need to pray to Simone, but I did okay. But I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.